Today I'm going to do a video on the marketplace service. So you can uh, make Robux, Robux in your game uh, by selling items to players. And first thing you want to do is you need to actually publish to Ro Roblox. Uh, I already did that, so it's just going to save it. But hopefully you know how to do that. The second thing, you need an item to sell, at least one item. You can sell a lot of stuff. I'll go ahead and I'm going to sell, I'll sell this pistol. I did that before in my trial run. All right, so here's a handgun. Go down to replicated storage. So just drag your handgun to replicated storage. And that's where we're going to supply the player with it. But now we got to go to your website. Where is my website? Here it is. And go to create. And here's my game. So that's why you have to publish it first because you're not going to see it here. And hit that little wheel thing and then configure game. And configure game, developer products. It's already have one. So I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do create. And I'm going to say handgun2. And I'm going to say this is my second try. There we go. Give it some Robux. I'll give this one 20. The last one was 10. Get an image. And this is an image of a handgun. And it does not show you the image. That's not very helpful. But go ahead and hit create. And now this is the second one. I called it uh, handgun2 for 20 Robux. And here's your ID. And this is what you're going to need to make the purchase. So just copy it. There we go. And now let's go to our game and we can continue. Remember you have your little ID in your buffer there. Let's go to starter GUI, screen GUI, text button. And I'll just go ahead and say instead of a text button, I'm going to call this market button and I'm going to change the text to market. I'll make it a little bigger. 30. There we go. We don't need to make it that big. All right. Now when I press it, I want stuff to happen. So I'm going to add a local script. I'm just going to call this market script. And I need a reference to my button so that it catches my click events and I need a reference to the marketplace. The more, let's see, game, get, whoops, get service and marketplace service. That's the one. Say local function on press and let's go ahead and hook up our button. Our button's activated. Oh man activated uh, event to on press and now I'm going to use this market right here I can hit prompt product purchase so game player so we need our player and we can just use the local player because this is a local script so whoever pressed it and now that ID. Oh, and I lost my ID because I I copied market here. Where's my there it is. Just go ahead back to your web page for your for your game. Copy this again. And I'll go back to here we go. Go back to your studio and paste it. There you go. So that should work. That should prompt us for the marketplace. Let me go ahead and publish to Roblox, try it out. It's not going to make a purchase yet because we still have to do the server side, but it brings up the cool window. Ah, uh, there you go. And there's my little image. All right. It doesn't matter what we press because we don't have a server side um, processing yet. So server script service script. I'm going to call, oops, what happened there? I'm going to call this buy script
and in my buy script I need I need my market so that's exactly the same get service marketplace service and I need um, replicated storage gain get service replicated storage and I also need my gun so I'll just call this gun I'm going to get that from replicated storage and what is it wait for child and this has to be spelt the same so handgun and replicated storage needs to be what's right in here hand gun nice what else do I need let's go ahead and get the player service so I don't have to do it in line players game get service players and then we'll make a function to buy we're gonna say process purchase how do you spell purchase pru there you go and then I have our info because I'm never gonna be able to spell receipt right so local so that's re receipt info right so we need a player we have our player service and we can get player from user ID and our receipt info has a player ID all right so if not player so player was returned so they must have quit or got disconnected or something we're going to return a value from the enum product purchase decision and not processed yet so when they come back in it should refire and they should have another chance to buy it or not or, or get it my so i'm gonna call this my gun because i'm gonna clone it i'm gonna clone what we got from replicated uh storage i always say gum gun clone and then my gun don't forget to assign a parent or they'll buy the gun and then it won't show up in the workspace and then you won't be popular um, backpack and then just return your enum for product purchase decision and purchase granted so we come in here if they're gone you could probably even leave that out if you want if you're willing to live dangerously you can clone the gun from replicated storage set the parent to the backpack and then we're going to return this decision um, and also what we have to do is we we need to set a callback for this process receipt so the process receipt will be assigned this process purchase function and then through the magic of roblox this will be called and everything will be good let's try it out so i come in here i want to get a gun uh, look at that only 20 robux robux yeah there we go and there's my gun i succeeded this was only a test purchase so you can do it in your studio as much as you want i got my gun and now i can start shooting zombies all right so that's how you do it that's marketplace service and if that icon doesn't come up in here here let me get rid of my gun this took me a while to figure out sometimes it just takes time uh to show up so uh the first time i did it it didn't show up for a while all right